Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Yi Roy Lavenda. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how is insulin made? In the ever-evolving world of medicine, few breakthroughs have had as profound an impact as insulin. This essential hormone regulates blood sugar levels, serving as a lifeline for millions of people with diabetes. Without it, the body struggles to process glucose, leading to serious health complications. But the story of insulin is more than just a medical discovery. It's a testament to scientific ingenuity, perseverance, and the power of biotechnology. How do researchers take microscopic organisms and turn them into a life-saving drug? Let's unravel the science behind insulin production right here on History of Simple Things. To understand how insulin is made today, we must first take a step back in time. Originally, insulin was extracted from the pancreases of cows and pigs, a painstaking process that required harvesting large amounts of animal tissue. This method, though effective for its time, was inefficient, expensive, and prone to variation in purity. The insulin produced from animals was slightly different from human insulin, sometimes triggering immune responses in patients. Then, in 1982, everything changed. Scientists using the groundbreaking field of genetic engineering developed synthetic insulin, the very same molecule our own bodies produce, but created outside of the human body. This achievement revolutionized diabetes treatment, making insulin more accessible, consistent, and safer for millions. Today, the production of insulin begins in laboratories, where scientists use recombinant DNA technology to program bacteria, Escherichia coli, or yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, to produce the hormone. The first step involves modifying their DNA by inserting the human insulin gene, which provides the instructions needed for insulin synthesis. This process, known as transformation, is crucial as it turns these microorganisms into tiny insulin-producing factories, forming the foundation for large-scale manufacturing. Once genetically modified, the bacteria or yeast are placed in large bioreactors, stainless steel tanks filled with nutrient-rich liquid. Under carefully controlled temperature, pH, and oxygen levels, they multiply rapidly, producing insulin precursors. These immature insulin molecules require further processing before they become fully functional. The sheer scale of production is remarkable. A single towering bioreactor can generate enough insulin to supply thousands of people for months. After fermentation, the next step is purification. The insulin precursor must be extracted from the cells and undergo a series of chemical and physical transformations to become fully functional insulin. This involves breaking open the microbial cells and isolating the protein using advanced filtration techniques. Since insulin is initially produced as a single polypeptide chain, it must be carefully folded and clipped into the correct structure mimicking the exact shape of the insulin naturally made in the human body. This intricate process ensures that the final product is both safe and effective. Scientists use enzymatic reactions to cut the pro-insulin molecule into active insulin, ensuring that it binds correctly to human insulin receptors. If even a small mistake occurs during this process, the insulin may not function properly, which could have life-threatening consequences for patients who rely on it. Once purified, the insulin undergoes rigorous quality control testing. Every batch is scrutinized for purity, potency, and consistency. Any impurities or abnormalities can compromise its effectiveness, making this phase one of the most critical. Advanced analytical techniques such as high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, and mass spectrometry are employed to verify that the insulin meets the highest pharmaceutical standards. In some cases, Minor imperfections in structure or purity can lead to entire batches being discarded. It's a meticulous and costly process, but one that ensures every unit of insulin that reaches patients is of the highest possible quality. With the insulin fully refined, the final step is formulation. At this stage, 
the hormone is mixed with stabilizing agents and preservatives to ensure it remains effective when stored. Different types of insulin, such as rapid-acting, long-acting, and intermediate-acting, require specific formulations. Some insulin is designed to work within minutes, while others release gradually over the course of a day. The formulation process tailors the insulin's absorption rate to meet the needs of different patients, making it a crucial part of its overall efficacy. Some formulations include additional molecules, such as protamine or zinc, to modify how long the insulin stays active in the bloodstream. The prepared insulin is then filled into vials, cartridges, or preloaded insulin pens. These containers must be sterile and precisely measured to ensure patients receive the correct dosage. Automated filling machines operate in highly controlled environments, eliminating any risk of contamination. Once filled, the insulin is packaged, labeled, and distributed to pharmacies and hospitals worldwide, where it will ultimately reach the hands of those who rely on it to manage their diabetes. The journey from microscopic bacteria to a finished life-saving medication is nothing short of extraordinary. Yet, while insulin's production is a triumph of modern medicine, there remains another chapter to this story, one that goes beyond the lab and into the real world. The affordability, accessibility, and future advancements in insulin technology shape the lives of millions. Insulin remains a costly medication, with many people struggling to afford the doses they need to survive. While biosimilar insulins, more affordable versions of brand name insulins, have started to emerge, challenges in pricing and accessibility remain significant. Researchers are also exploring new methods of insulin delivery, including implantable devices, smart insulin pens, and even insulin pills that could eliminate the need for injections altogether. As we look to the future, the goal is clear, to make insulin not only more effective, but also more widely accessible. Innovations in production, improvements in storage, and new delivery methods could transform diabetes care in ways we have yet to imagine. But for now, the journey of insulin, from a single strand of DNA in a laboratory to a life-sustaining injection, is one of the most remarkable achievements in medical history. It is a testament to the relentless pursuit of progress and the unwavering commitment to improving human lives. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.